Welcome to Scratch Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch. With Scratch, you can create your own stories, puzzles, and games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything in the programs that you write. Create a free account at scratch.mit.edu so you can do coding with us. Once you get to scratch.mit.edu, you'll need to sign in so that you'll be able to save your projects and get to your old projects. Once you're signed in, you'll have a My Stuff folder. That's where all your saved projects will be. Today we'll be creating a story where somebody tells a joke. What's black and white and red all over? I don't know, what? A zebra with a sunburn. I can click see inside to see the code to see how I did it. You'll see that I have one stage, that's the background, and two characters. And each of the characters has some code. Abby's code is right here. I have Abby selected. If I select Devin, this is Devin's code. When we look at Abby's code, we see that it starts when the green flag is clicked. She changes costumes and waits and talks, changes costume and wait. And at the end, it stops. Let's look at Devin. Same thing, when the green flag is clicked, he changes costumes and waits to the end of the script. Let's create a new project and see if we can make another joke. To create a new project, I just go to Create. I'm going to delete the Scratch Cat and pick a background. I'll pick the playground this time. And I need a couple of characters. I'm going to pick Abby and Devin again. I have to go back and get Devin. I want to make Devin a little bigger. Change that from 100 to 110. And I also want to change his direction so he'll be talking to Abby. The direction is like a clock. He's the hands on the clock. And we don't want him to spin that way. We want him to just turn left and right. So we'll click on the arrow here. And then when he changes direction, he just turns instead of spinning around. So let's start with the code for Devin. When the green flag is clicked, I want him to start telling his joke. The green flag is an event. When the green flag is clicked, I want him to say something. He's going to say hello for two seconds. So let's change hello to the joke. How do you get a squirrel to like you? And then Abby, when the green flag is clicked, is going to say, I don't know how. And then Devin's going to say, act like a nut. Let's see how that looks. So the timing of that is bad. Let's think more about the timing of this. Whenever we first start the code, let's wait for a second before Devin talks. And then he talks for two seconds. So let's make Abby wait for four seconds before she even starts saying anything. Then the four seconds will get us past where he's talking. So Devin's going to talk. And then Abby will talk for two seconds. So we'll make him wait the two seconds that she's talking plus a second of a pause. Let's see if that's too much. I 
timing's not bad. Let's change how he says act like a nut to just say that for two seconds so that it won't stay on the screen. Now let's see how it looks. The talking looks pretty good. Let's see how we want to get them to move. Let's start with Devin. So we'll use C for at the end when he's laughing. And we'll use A for when he's talking. Let's go to his code. In the looks blocks, we can change the way Devin looks. And we're going to switch costumes. We'll start with Devin A, and then after he tells the joke, we'll change to Devin C. And so he's laughing at his own joke. Let's make Abby move. Let's start her off at Abby D, just standing there. And when she goes to talk, let's change to Abby B. And then when she's laughing, we'll change to Abby C. She's going to say, I don't know how, and then start laughing. So we need to pause and let Devin tell her the answer to the joke. So the wait is a control. Let's try three seconds. We did it! That's the end of this lesson. Now it's your turn. Select a background and grab a couple of characters and make them talk to each other. If you can do that, then congratulations. You've mastered this lesson. This free coding lesson was provided by STEM in Games. Watch more lessons and keep practicing so you can create new worlds and games and make your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.